So what's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Grid Zombies. Today we're going to be talking about Call of Duty World War II and the new DLC weapons that came. There's three you can actually play with. We're going to cover those in this video today. As well, we're going to get you caught up on all the latest news that's been dropping. So be sure to drop a like on this video if you do go on to learn something. And subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you're new. And if anything here, anything at all sparks an idea in your head, be sure to hit me up over on Twitter, at GrizViolent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. So with the game of Call of Duty World War II being out a little over a month, we now are getting our hands on the first event that's taking place. The first weapon we're going to be talking about is the GPMG. This is an LMG and you'll find it in your weapons build kits right now if you go ahead and check. Now this is a DLC add-on. We've seen this in the past with Infinite Warfare Zombies and they had some great weapons that came into the mix. Now these weapons overall are alright but they're not weapons that I'm primarily going to be trying to pick up from the mystery box. You will have to pick these up from the mystery box so make sure you're checking there if you want to get your hands on these suckers. We did just have a patch 1.07 that dropped and that brought a lot of great changes for zombies. We now can track our challenges or hidden challenges which hasn't been able to be tracked before. It was kind of a mystery. It kind of should have been there at launch, but uh, I'm glad it's there now. You know, we, we experienced certain problems with Infinite Warfare zombies as well in that same regard. Now, the next weapon that we're going to be talking about is acts a lot like the M1 Garant. This one here is called the Guha 43. I'm not sure how exactly you're supposed to say that, but this is one of those weapons that I think is just a filler. It's going to be in the box and it's going to be in the way. It's definitely one I'm not going to pick up because if you don't have a pack punched, it's pretty much useless. You can see that the damage ratios right now are absolutely horrendous. And uh, I'm not a fan. Not a fan of the Guha 43. But uh, I'm glad that we're just getting new weapons. You know, it's good to have new content, and that's what keeps the zombies community alive. There's little bits of content here and there. I'd like at map add-ons eventually, where we could tell a little more bits of storyline. Maybe some more of uh, survival maps, like Rost and Haas. We could have something like that and uh, continuing on our way to DLC 1, maybe another map like that, or just an extension of the Final Reich. I would love something like that, just sort of a, a map expansion, tell a little bit more story. The weapon you're seeing now is called the Sten. This is one you absolutely can get from your special order in multiplayer right now. Just head into the headquarters and they have a variant there if you complete that special order. But this weapon you can get straight from the mystery box as well. This one took me the longest to get. I actually had to spend about 50,000 points, jolts, in order to unlock this. So here we are today. And uh, well now this weapon fires a lot like the Type 100. So if that's your uh, cup of tea, you know, dive in. Throw your tea bag down in that little cup of water and bam! We're going to head down to Pack Punch now and Pack Punch this sucker and see exactly what it looks like. I've been hearing from a lot of people that the actual Pack Punch camo doesn't change on some of these weapons. You guys know what the Pack Punch camo looks like on the final rank, okay? Now, it will not apply to some of these weapons. However, one of the weapons it does apply to, and we'll get to that, but right now, this weapon that we're applying right now, the Sten, is not uh, going to have a camo. So. These are simple fixes that will get updated in either game updates or an upcoming patch. You'll notice here that the Guher 43 as well, it doesn't have a pack-a-punch camo, but it is pack-a-punched. Having a look at the GPMG, you'll notice that the pack-a-punch camo does apply to this weapon. So this is one that you'll absolutely have a full experience with. The other ones are yet to come, but the weapon still works as intended. So if you pack-a-punch it, it's going to pack-a-punch correctly, and that's what we're looking for. So I guess the question that arises from all this is, did it extend the endgame grind? Now, the endgame grind isn't necessarily at the end of the season pass. The endgame grind currently, right now, is the current status of where we're at in the world playing zombies, is we have the final ride, Grosten Haas, and this new event happening with Winter Siege. That is the endgame grind currently, and so does new weapons being added in increase that? You know, we can get these from supply drops at the end of games. I wish this was something that would apply to zombies as well. It's definitely a feature that's not there. And if you got four players, I mean, if you had a random drop that occurred every now and then, um, and even if this would continue on after the Winter Siege, where we'd be able to accept a supply drop at the end of the match, if you're solo, I still think it should be a random generator. Either you get it or you don't. Just the fact that it's there because the odds are stacked against us opening these supply drops and we know it. So the more we can get the better because then we can get uh, duplicates and that'll work for us with armory credits and you know it's just going to extend the ingram grind a little bit more having more features available for us to play. You could argue that the final Reich is already snowy so it's themed for winter but 
They could program these to have different seasonal looks to them. We could have a summer version of the Final Reich, and it would be cool, I think, if during those seasonal events, they would apply that, not a camo, but map skin to the actual map, and we could experience it as we play it throughout the year. So what you're going to notice when you go to headquarters is there's these new winter supply drops that are dropping, right, for the winter siege event, and you can get these yourselves. The new quartermaster is here. Uh, the chick has left. But a lot of people are getting just junk, and I noticed just by looking around too, a lot of people were getting like just handles for pistols or whatever, the grips. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and accept my free gift, and we'll check out what we get. But uh, I, I wasn't having good luck, you know. I've opened quite a few of these, and I've been getting just junk. And why are we getting emblems? That's something I just don't understand, because we can create our own emblems, right? So it's just filling up space. This is something that I'm totally against. I've tweeted at Michael Condry, and I'm like, why are actual emblems being awarded here? I got a lot of emotes, too. Um, it's okay to have emotes every now and then, but I'm looking for those weapons, you know, and when there's just this pointless stuff just locked and loaded in there, it, it draws away from it a little bit, knowing that it's purposefully put there to make your odds stacked against you. If you watch the Game Awards that happened, it was the 2017 version, happened last night, you would notice that there were people even talking about microtransactions being a problem, that it's bullshit, that it needs to improve and change, and a lot of the success of games that are free to play, like Fortnite, are doing it right. You know, microtransactions are what you pay for, but the base version of the game is still fun and gives you a chance to get anything that you want. So, I think that we're going to move in that direction eventually, once we get past this whole concept of microtransactions rule in the game. Um, but right now you're seeing a way that you can earn these supply drops. So in the contracts, the special order, you can get the Sten, just the base version. I'm not sure if it's winter themed, but you can absolutely get a version of the Sten there and try it out for yourself. In multiplayer, the other ones you will have to earn any variant. You don't have to get the base variant just to unlock it. But some of you guys might be wondering if there's any glitches that are still available that are working right now. You remember this glitch where you had to die into this little corner and you'd be able to go upstairs, right? It's a really glitched out area. You're pretty much invincible. God mode. You do got to look out for the Wessler zombies. But uh, they made this a jump in glitch now. So whatever they did, they totally screwed it up. And if you go here now and crouch into the corner where you pretty much stopped, you, uh, you might screw this up a few times, but it's really easy. It's literally a jump in glitch and you're basically out of the map. It's so simple to do. And I wanted to show you guys this, so that way maybe we could get it reported and fixed. Or if it doesn't get reported and Sledgehammer never sees this video, by all means, use it for your own benefit, whatever you got to do. Uh, I'm all about getting this stuff fixed. That's why I tend to post glitches on my channel. But you guys are free to use them whenever for as much as you want to expose them. Feel free to do so. That's not my job. My job is simply to tell you guys what's up, that it's out there, and it's up to Sledgehammer if they want to fix it. One thing that changed as well is the supply drop rate, which you've known in the past, how you would get maybe eight supply drops in your prestige. I guess that's been maybe doubled, so every four levels you're getting supply drops. I can't confirm that. I haven't done enough research on it, but it seems like the status quo of that has changed. Now, one thing I wish would be changed still was the note of your after-action report superseding an update that's coming. So you should be able to see your after-action report before this occurs. The way you can actually earn winter supply drops though i did want to make a short note of this is through challenges collections or supply drops i've showed you the random supply drop at the end of the match in multiplayer at least you can get a good grip on that there even after the update i was still awarded my zombie supply drop that i got from ranking up and so it's still working properly i just want that to be fixed so we can still see our after action report i don't know why that's missing so here we are in headquarters and I just wanted to note that the Quartermaster that we saw in the past will be coming back again, but it's not until after this event. As well as you can get the Bon Voyage camo if you link your Twitch Prime account with your Call of Duty account. The Winter Siege event will be lasting until January 2nd. There are double XP events, and zombies will be getting double XP around the 22nd of December. I think it's through the 26th. I will confirm that in a video coming up. But I just want to give you guys a little note ahead of time. There will be double XP coming to zombies. That's going to wrap it up pretty much for this video. Just note that a lot of junk is dropping right now, including emblems, which I'll never understand, from these winter supply drops. So you're going to have to open a lot. I'm going to be doing the same. But hopefully we can clutch all the variants that we needed on the winter versions of these weapons. 
See you in the next one. Violent out.